what did you get out of it? Because, I mean, he was obviously he's a motivational speaker would be his yeah. category. Yeah, I you know you actually seem super I super motivated today. I, yeah, right, mm -hmm. right. I am. I actually I am. Um, it was strange because uh, uh, I got stuff out of it. I didn't think I would get out of. Um, I mean, he was he led an exercise where you're supposed to go for gratitude and the stuff he's talking about, if we would just all of us do, it would be such a, we'd fix our problems. Um, and he was talking a lot about gratitude and, and how, you know, we in this country can do things that you just can't do elsewhere. And that we, that we have freedoms here and that you can, you know, be like him where he was worth nothing. It was nothing. And he almost went bankrupt uh, back, I think, in the 90s uh, and worked hard to turn it around. I mean, we have opportunities here. So he's talking about gratitude. And, um, you know, I've, I used to talk about my dad a lot. Um, and my father was, um, he was a practitioner of something called the science of mind. And it came from a guy named Rupert, uh, no, not Rupert, um, uh, Ernest Holmes. And he wrote a book in the 1920s or 30s. And my father actually got to work with him and learn from him. And he was kind of a Tony Robbins, if you will. Uh, and he, he took all of the religious texts of the world and he put them on top of each other. And he said, where they intersect, there's truth. And so he just took the truths that all religions are saying and said, okay, so what does this mean? And he called God mind because people, when you think of God, you think of what you are imagining and that's different from somebody else. So he wanted just to make it neutral because this is the science or the mechanics of how things work. And so it was very, I mean, Tony Robbins is, I mean, he was, it sounded like my dad. And, uh, my dad and I uh, were estranged uh, the last few years of his life. And, and a lot of it was because uh, uh, he, he changed. He reverted back to the man he always told me he didn't want to be. And, um, and, he, and he really he turned into a, a pretty bad man at the end. And so I, unbeknownst to me, I have rejected all of the stuff that I built my life around. Um, I had just stopped doing it. And as Tony said, uh, he's like, if I stop doing this, I will be the guy I was because this is, this is work. You have to work at it all the time. And, uh, and I had stopped a lot of it and he was doing this thing about gratitude and I started thinking about um, my dad and, um, you know, we never had a, a funeral for him. Um, we never mourned. I, I had never even cried about my father's passing, um, which is obviously very odd for me <laughs> until this weekend. Yeah. I mean, deliveries show up 10 minutes late and you're on the floor. Yeah. You know? <laughs> no. I, mean, it is, I don't uh, know. If the, well, it depends on what the delivery is. Yeah. If it's food, yes. 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 So that would be very odd for you. Yeah. And um, and that just came out this weekend. It was it was uh, odd, but I learned a lot from it. Learned a lot from it. So what do you take? What, do you, what Where does this go from here? I'm, uh, is it, are you buying all the, the tapes? Are you going to be a distributor now? You're going to be... No, I don't think, does he do that? I don't think he does that. Yeah, I don't think he does that. <laughs> no. um, just I know he sells the tapes. Um, yeah. He seems like, I mean, he seems, it seems like his advice is really rock you, you, solid, rock solid. And you pointed about, you pointed this out before you went, it's one of those things you just don't want to hear because you kind of know that most of it's right and you don't want to deal with it. Right. I mean, like, mm -hmm. I, you know, um, so I, I don't want to hear any more about All your All the stuff that he talks about was, was that. And he said, he gets up every morning and he either goes into a cryo freeze uh, first thing, he has a cryo, mm -hmm. you know, freezer at his house. And so that's 200 below zero. Jeez. And he said, I roll out of bed. And he said, I've trained myself to not hit the snooze alarm. He said, you have to train yourself. 
And he said, the first thing I do is I either cryo-freeze or I get into a, a, a bath or a pool at 50 degrees. And maybe not all advice I think you should take right. from, from... Yeah, <laughs> and he said, I do it. He said, I do it just to train myself. Do it. You're going to make a commitment to something and you're going to do it. And he said, so I start every morning like that. He said, it's good for you health-wise, et cetera, et cetera. He said, but you've got to train yourself that you are in charge of your life, not your emotions, not your feelings, not your body, but you are in charge. It was, it was, it was, he's, he's quite a remarkable guy. 